Now, the, really the main thing that runs your immune system is the hormone that it has the name of vitamin D3. If we knew what we know now, it would have been called a hormone like insulin, cortisol, um, all the hormones. It is a hormone. It runs 2,000 different genes in the body. It is what runs your immune system. We are meant to be in the sun for the majority of the day. Sunburns are bad, sun is healthy. Since we're not out in the sun as much, we need to supplement with D3. And D3 is critical to run your immune system. Most Americans are too low, which means that you're gonna get osteoporosis as you get older because you just don't have enough to build strong bones. But we don't wanna dive into that too much today. What I wanna say is, Science really supports that you need to have over 40 nanograms per milliliter because science shows that decreases the risk of getting flu by 41%. Now that's the, the, all the other flus, and I will say that I would believe the coronavirus is gonna do the same thing. So currently, if you're not taking vitamin D, you're crazy. It's the most important thing you need to be healthy. Um, there's other supplements, including omega-3 that boosts your immune system, lowers your overall risk of death from all causes. I currently am taking 10 to 20,000 IUs per day. You, it's not toxic. You would have to, to do 100,000 a day for several weeks, maybe a month, to even bring it up to the, the top of where I think you should go. But you wanna get your blood, your serum up to 40. You need to get a blood test of vitamin D. You've all heard me say that. So the number one thing is vitamin D runs your immune system. Go out and get that right now. It's the cheapest supplement you can buy. Now here's the other thing. Vitamin A is also part of the immune system. So D and A work together. You also need vitamin K2 because it's kind of the traffic cop. You don't want calcium going into your vessels. K2 directs the, the calcium where it needs to go. So always take vitamin A and vitamin K2. Now I have actually switched to a brand, um, same fish oil as I always take, but now this is um, fish oils combined with cod liver oil, which is high in A and D. So I'm doing it all at once. Um, that's the innate choice. Um, if you wanna look at that, we can order it. But omega-3, vitamin A and D, critical for everything, critical for your immune system. And we all know that vitamin C is the, probably one of the number the one things we can do to kill bacteria and virus when we've gotten them. It influences, it raises your immune cell count, it helps kill different things. And in China, one of the ways they are saving lives is they started injecting the vitamin C IV where it really raises the blood concentration. So if I had cancer or I was sick, I'd get some IV vitamin C. I think that's that'll save people. And here in California, here in the US, Medical people don't look at studies like that, but in the rest of the world, they do that. There are places where you can get IV vitamin C. So if you need it, you look for it. Exercise, moderate exercise, boosts your immune system. Raises your temperature. Fever is good, it kills virus. Don't go out and run any marathons. Excessive exercise like marathons is gonna lower down your immune system. Sleep is when the body repairs. Sleep is when the brain clears, when the body repairs, when the heart repairs, and it builds up cytokines that are the main triggers in your immune system. I am, I've upped my sleep. I'm gonna get my nap in a little while. Uh, make sure you're getting no less than seven hours of sleep. You probably wanna go up to eight and even take a nap. Sleep is critical for a healthy functioning body. Stress lowers your immune system faster than anything. Here's what I'm worried about, the fear. The fear is lowering your immune system. It's gonna make you more susceptible. You are gonna be exposed. This, this thing is doubling um, like every couple days. So that's why I said in six weeks, all of America will be exposed. We just wanna spread that out a little bit. So 
Stress is the fight or flight response. When you're trying to save your life by running or fighting tigers, you don't need an immune system. If you live the tiger, now your immune system can kick back in. But you can't also digest when you're under stress, and that's the number one thing for your immune system. So a perfect time to start meditating. We sent out an e email yesterday with my favorite link to, um, to the meditation. So start some meditation.